book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just finished the World Mind's postmortem on ineffective planetary scale battles. <laughs> hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got from my favorite super cool assassin. As a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. How'd you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay... The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then... Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the Queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband. Her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Grell would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way, I refused and we won the war without killing anyone else. And for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. What did cause you to betray Thanos? I mean, he adopted you when you were like... Five. He basically raised us, taught us everything we know. So what finally did it? What snapped you out of it? I... found the Resistance. What? Thanos was obsessed. He had me and Nebula combing the galaxy for their location for cycles. Each of us determined to be the first to find them and report back. So when I found them first, I was so excited to tell him. I got home, and I found him talking to an empty room. To someone called Lady Death. That's not ominous. I truly thought he loved us. In his own twisted way. But... Thanos didn't want to restore balance to the galaxy. He was just in love with death, literally in love. And he would kill all of us, including me, including Nebula, to prove it. But you couldn't let him. No. So instead of telling him where to find the Resistance, I joined them. I, uh... kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. Now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously, thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. Assassin, you believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Looked pretty obvious to me. 
Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force. Doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with news. You were certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, good Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. And nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Nova Corps all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? Well, did you end up talking to Rocket after he stormed out of the rec room? Don't think he was in a talking mood. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I find vanquishing my foes to be the most enjoyable pastime. That's good too, but it isn't everything. Please keep the spaceport clear. About them. They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Hmm. Okay. 
We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Novacore all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Didn't think I'd miss nowhere this much. The attachment we feel to certain places, get your people, are sometimes unexplainable. That's surprisingly profound, Drax. was over 12 revolutions ago, and we're still waiting for the fallout. We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These coops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered... version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh, you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the contact is here? Broken promise of all we meant. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making mad face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green. Okay, bye. 
So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... We met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was bad to me. I'd probably be dead if Magic hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of story. I know, big guy. Let's just not push it right now. I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Afternoon, Captain Todd. Are the midway? Ready to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be simpler. Find the ball, win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain. Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheat, some kinds, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low-stakes game, just to prove that I'm on the up and up. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine, I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winners. See? My game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Start shuffling and get ready to pay out. Oh, what confidence. That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the ball. Here we go, Captain. The ball's in the middle. Oh, no. That's too bad, Captain. Looks like you lose. I was positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes the mind can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bob, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait. Come back here.
klein. Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Eh, better not. I'd have to carry it around with me all day. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out away. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there. Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Cosmo? Is that you? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. I am Groot. Stop being so nice to a proud rumble hiss! Clark! I give my 
himself a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. <laughs> hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, uh lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted, so hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, lady H? Whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H. Uh, triple! Uh, or I'll triple it! Yeah, now, wrong. <laughs> Maybe we sit down, have a choga dog, talk this over? Uh, Lady H told us how much you babble. Get crushed, Terran. You want more, Terran? Can we just talk about this? You shouldn't have messed with Lady H! Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Think I heard something great. You're welcome! It'll be a surprise! The armor comes are getting ready! Who needs smarts when I'm here? <laughs> 
you to show up, Gamora! Thank me later, after we take them out! Dogs this! Get ready for the meteor! Uh, uh, Watching us since we landed on nowhere! Come on, Ross, let's disappear! These guys just soak up the rail! Peter, let me end it. My blade will not be silent, Murderous. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. Guys, guys, chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? This is gonna be fun! Sick. It's about these zombies. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was 
He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Please, no! 